Hi, Armand here to discuss the very serious question of Saturn Station on August 13th, 2016. Now, Saturn Stations have a very serious, heavy air, and so this is going to be a very serious, heavy, concise video, because it's appropriate. What do we know about Saturn Stations? Well, when Saturn Stations... Uh, we all get that Saturnian vibe, and Saturn has a lot to do with work and responsibility. So in the coming week up to the Saturn station, from about August 9th onwards, we're going to be feeling an extra sort of heaviness in the air. It doesn't help that the moon is going to be in Scorpio for a lot of that time. And so uh, what we have is a lot of additional responsibilities that come upon us, maybe by surprise. There could be some additional red tape that we have to work through. There could be decisions that need to be made. And so as the week progresses, and we get towards Saturday, August 13th, Saturn station, we're going to feel more and more that Saturnian energy. Not exactly the easiest energy to have in the midst of, in the northern hemisphere, summer. But we have to note also, too, that wherever you are, August 13th is a Saturday, and it's landing on the weekend. Saturn station on a Tuesday or a Wednesday is one thing, but on the weekend is another. So a late summer weekend when we're trying to have some fun could be a little bit of a challenge with Saturn stationing. I'm sort of reminded of my Uncle Al, who invariably would find me in some sort of August revelry at a party or something like that and say, Armand, oh, ready to go back to school? Yeah, that type of thing. That's very much the sort of feeling that we're likely to have, is the sort of like, I'm having fun, but... And you have that sense of time sort of putting a constraint on you. You need to sort of hurry up with things. There's not that much time. It's a little bit of a Saturnian illusion, but on the other hand, it also does focus, is, focus us in on what's important. So those are things to keep in mind, that the week from the 9th through, I would say the 14th or 15th, very likely to have a somewhat heavy work responsibility-oriented feel to it. Now, of course, if you want to go out and have a good time, nobody's stopping you. What I would suggest, though, is during the day, put in your work, do some stuff, feel that you've accomplished things, tire yourself out a little bit, and then kind of relax and say, well, I did the work, I shouldered the responsibility, I did what I needed to do. Now I can kind of relax a little bit. That's probably the best strategy. If you think, well, I'm just going to knock off and not do anything, it could, not, could be a bit of a problem. Also, take kind of care of yourself uh, this week. Um, Saturn stations tend to have a little bit of a depression of immunity for some folks, and there tends to be little colds and little minor bugs going around uh, around Saturn stations. It's not a big deal or anything like that, but take care of yourself. On the collective level, we have to uh, remember that Saturn is stationing to move direct in Sagittarius. Now, Saturn in Sagittarius is likely to call people out on their beliefs and their belief systems. Well, you may see politicians being asked to sort of hew more directly to the party line. If people have been sort of stepping out of line, they may kind of get a little bit pushed back. Uh, it's also a possibility that uh, some of those very beliefs and the whole, you know, the whole structure of the party line starts to show some cracks in it. Saturn is very good at doing that as well. Especially with the moon in Sagittarius, we're going to find that the uh, emphasis on beliefs and the structure of our beliefs is going to be something that is going to be very much a topic of discussion. Again, the more polarized side of Sagittarius is likely to come out such that people are kind of like, this is the truth, and others are saying, this is the truth, and there's a real conflict. Uh, Sagittarius is great when it's looking for the truth, maybe a little bit less great when it thinks it's found it. So we may see some real polarized political argument. Not that it's easy to, not, not that we don't have enough polarized political arguments uh, to begin with, but this is liable to be a very, very strenuously uh, fought battle of ideologies. Um, this uh, Saturn station, Saturn is also square to Venus, and Venus and Saturn and Neptune are making more or less a T-square. This is liable to put a lot of that Saturnian pressure, decision-making, heaviness onto the area of relationship. And so um, we may find, particularly with Venus in Virgo opposite Neptune in Pisces, 
uh, that there is a tendency to take what would otherwise be considered a fairly small detail or some little annoyance type of thing and turn it into a fairly major conflict. So watch out for that. Although with Saturn stationing, more, more or less, even a sort of little detail that's blown out of proportion likely reflects some sort of underlying stress. It could also be time, of course, to say, okay, this is working, and so let's make a decision to go forward to another level. In that case, the Neptunian glow will actually help out quite a bit. But more or less, it's a serious weekend, serious time, serious decisions, serious, serious, serious. Relationship, politics, work. It's all going to be kind of serious for the next few days. Sorry to have to tell you.